Identity. Hallelujah. So the three things are we were created. 
Christ. Battle number one, I call it the battle of identity, sonship. Who are we in reference to Christ? Hallelujah. Number two, the battle of character. How must we live in reference to Christ? Number three, Madam, the battle of purpose. What is our purpose in reference to Christ? Hallelujah. So I want to quickly explain sonship. I wrote here, sonship is a spiritual relationship in which God relates to man through the person of the Holy Spirit. This thing, Manuel, is validated by the new birth experience. Hallelujah, Manuel. The Bible says that in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16 to 17, it says that the Spirit Himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. 17 says, Now, if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co heirs with Christ. Did we share in his suffering in order that we may also share in his glory? Hallelujah. So the Bible here tells us that Jesus Christ, according to Hebrews 10, verse 2, verse 10, it tells us that when Jesus Christ came, he came to reconcile us back to God. He came to convert us to be sons again in the kingdom. In Genesis chapter 3, Daniel, we was our identity. Hallelujah, Angel. Hallelujah. One of the biggest jobs that I saw time is to divert us from our identity so that the kingdom of God will not arise and become a kingdom that will reign above all the kingdom in this nation. Hallelujah, Angel. So now we have what we call the requirements of sonship. The requirements of sonship. Hallelujah. Number one, one of the requirements, rather, for you to be a son in the kingdom, your identity needs to change. The Lord cannot put new wine in an old wine skin. I don't know if I was a man, if I said the corner. The Bible says that when we are in Him, when we are in Christ, we become a new creation. Hallelujah. So our identity, in order for us to transition to a point of being the sons in the kingdom, we need to change our old ways. Gracias. 
this world, just as Jesus is not of this world. Therefore, God should sanctify us by the truth which is in his word. But when I listen to this, we are not of this world. Right? We may operate with the systems of this world, but we should not lose our stuff. We should recognize that us do not belong here. We belong in the kingdom of God. We are using these systems of this world so that we can communicate with these people according to the language they understand. So our mandate is one, to know him and make him known. In our jobs, we know him, we make him known. Verse 12 to 14. The Bible 
the, the, the purpose of the kingdom is to establish his own. Matthew 6, verse 10, your kingdom come, your will be done. That's the mandate that we are here for that way. I had notes that are explaining what is the will of God. Hallelujah, that way. In the one. In the one.